Hey guys, it's Spencer from My Tennessee Home Solutions. Just want to take a quick moment to talk about something that's been frustrating me recently, and that's evictions and squatters' rights. Now, as you guys know, Tennessee is what's called a landlord friendly state. That means the laws generally favor the owner of the property rather than the person residing at the property. Now, you've got generally two kinds of negative uh, living at the house you've got squatters, you just kind of pop in, door is open, you haven't checked on the property for a while, maybe they bust in, who knows. And then you've got second, you got a tenant who no longer wants to pay, right? Non-paying, non-performing tenants. Now, obviously they at that point are in breach of a lease agreement. Now your squatters might've been living there for a minute. Maybe there was no lease. Maybe it's a tenant who you evicted, who came back down the road or who knows. But the point is you've got someone in your property that's not taking care of it. So you got two major options. One, well, I guess three really. One, you can hope for the best. Don't recommend that. Two, you can go through the eviction process. So what you'll do is, You'll serve them a notice to quit. After that, you'll go to court. You'll say, hey, I'm filing an eviction notice. Here's proof that I served a notice to quit. There has to be a 30 day window. You say, hey, please leave. Formal letter, formal notification. 30 days later, go to court. Hey, they didn't leave, please. I'd like an eviction hearing. They'll usually set that date about two weeks. So at this point, you're six weeks in. You'll need a lawyer for the eviction hearing. That costs money. You probably needed a lawyer to draft that letter. After that six weeks, if you guys win in court, the um, the judge will give probably about two weeks for notice to quit. And so they'll actually be forced to leave the property in two weeks. The sheriffs will come at the end of that two weeks if they haven't left yet with you to evict the, uh, the tenant, former tenant. Obviously there's a bunch of like credit and stuff like that on their side, but on your side, right, it's gonna cost you money. It's gonna cost you time. That's six to eight weeks right there. And that's best case, right? God forbid you lose and that tenant gets to stay. I haven't seen that a lot, but from time to time it does happen. Now what's, What's the other option, right? I mentioned three, hope for the best, eviction, and third, and that's my favorite. Sell your house with the person in there, right? I'm able to talk about this because I've learned these lessons the hard way. So I'm also happy to purchase properties with tenants inside. I'm actually under contract to buy a couple right now. Close in next week and we'll get it taken care of. So if you're tired of dealing with it, you just want to wash your hands of the situation, pass to the experts. We'll take care of all that on our side of it, but we'll get you closed beforehand. You'll cash in your pocket and you'll be on the road to the next adventure in no time. Appreciate you. I'm looking forward to working together.